Hello there. Welcome to the engineering tutorial classes. In this class today, we are trying to learn how to determine the, the maximum torque transmitted by a circular solid shaft. As we know, when we are going to be getting the maximum torque, that means how much amount of the power we can transmit from one unit to another through the shaft. So that is going to be determined from your the maximum shear stress. As we know, when the last class we have seen, so then this is going to be considered, this is the shaft and as we have seen that, when because the shear stress is going to be directly proportional to the, the radius of the shaft. As we know, from the center, it is going to be starting from the O suppose. Then I am slowly moving to the outside, that means outside layer of this circle. So then what will happen here, that R1, R2, R3, R4, like this we are going to be getting. So from this one, we can see when the shear stress is going to be varying from 0 to capital R. So then what, what is this case? So in this case, what will happen? The initial stress is going to be here, is going to be this one. And similarly, at the second position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So then this is going to be the stress levels are going to be start to increasing from center to the outermost layer. So similarly, this, case, this side also we are going to be getting 6. Like this. So then can you see here, so the stress levels are going to be varying from center to the outside. So it is very clear that if you are able to find out the tau max, so then we can calculate the, the T max we are going to be calculating. So on this one, I have taken one circular shaft, right? So from this, I have taken here one elemental strip in this one. So this is going to be the capital R is going to be the, the total radius of the shaft. And then I have taken one elemental strip, it is located at a distance of R and the thickness of this, the elemental ring I am going to be considering, that's going to be dr. Now we are trying to find out the torque is transmitted, maximum torque transmitted by the shaft here. So then how we are going to be calculating here? As we know, the first we are going to be considering the torque transmitted by this elemental string. And this elemental strip is torque is going to be calculating and then we are going to be do the integration. So on that basis, we are trying to calculate it. As we know, we know the governing equations, the, these governing equations and we know the torque is equal to force into the radius and force is equal to the shear stress on this elemental strip, right, into the area, elemental area, that's we have to take it. So first I am going to be considering that elemental area. So elemental area of the shaft of elemental area of this one I can say dA is equal to what is the formula we are using that is equal to the perimeter into the thickness we are going to be considering that is equal to 2 pi r dr I am going to be taking. So then in this case these two magnitudes we are going to be getting in terms of the meter square or mm square. So then once we are going to be calculating the elemental area so then what is what extra we need to be calculate we need to find out the the stress existed on this member. So then these two equations I am going to be considering. This Q is nothing but that shear stress existed on the elemental strip at a location of R. So then in this case I am going to be considering here. So I want to find out here the element that is the, the turning force existed on this one. So then how could you write it as we know the Q is nothing but the shear stress on this element that is going to be the F is going to be your turning force. So then divided by the turning area that we are going to be considering. Now I want to find out the F force here. So then that I am going to be taking here that is going to be the DF. So here I am going to be taking the, uh, this is called turning force. Turning force on the elemental, elemental strip. Okay, so that's df is equal to, I can take q into da, I can write it. As we know, the q is nothing but here, we need to be substitute. From this equation, from this governing equations, I can write the q is equal to, the q is equal to tau by r, capital R into small r. So that I'm going to be substituting and da values I'm going to be substituting in this equation. 
So the finally this is equal to tau by r. This is the maximum shear stress at the outer surface and this is going to be the maximum radius into r. dA is equal to 2 pi r dr. If I am going to be further simplification of this one, I am going to be getting df is equal to tau by r into 2 pi r square dr we are getting. So now here can you see the df is nothing but the turning force that is existed on this elemental strip. So once if I am going to be getting then I am going to be finding the, the torque existed on this elemental strip. So that equation I am going to be writing the dt is going to be your the torque is equal to we know the torque is equal to force into the radius. So that I am going to be writing df into r. Now I am going to be substituting df in this equation so that I can calculate it. Now the dt is equal to I am going to be writing this df is nothing but tau by r that is going to be 2 pi r into dr tau pi 2 pi r square we got it here and I am going to be multiplying with the r. So that is going to be r. So I am going to be further simplification in this case what we, we need to do we need to go for the integration. We know the dt is nothing but the torque is existed on this element. Now I want to find out the total the circular shaft how much amount of the torque it is transmitting at the outer surface. So that I am going to be taking the integral 0 to t this is going to be your dt is equal to tau and r here these are the maximum the parameters that we are going to be getting 0 to r suppose this is going to be tau by r 2 pi r square sorry this is going to be r cube dr we are getting. So in this case what are the constant parameters there we can see tau is going to be that is the shear stress at the outer surface. So tau r 2 pi are going to be the, the constant terminologies that I am going to be taking tau by outside of the integration. So that is going to be 2 pi integral 0 to r that is going to be r cube dr I am going to be getting and from this one 0 to t in this case I am going to be getting the torque at at the outer surface. So now I am going to be simplifying over here. So the simplification the t is equal to the formula tau by r the 2 pi then if I am doing the integration with respect to here is the r so then I am going to be getting this is the small r to the power of 4 by 4 and the limits are going to be 0 to r. Then substitute these values in this equation so that then I am substituting in this equation the T is equal to that is the torque transmitted by the shaft that is going to be tau by r this is the 2 pi when I am going to be substituting 0 and r. So then what will happen 0 means here the 0 value we are going to get. So this I am going to be writing r to the power of 4. So this is will going to be cancelled one time then finally the T is equal to I am going to be writing pi by 2 pi by 2 this 2 is going to be 2 times will go and then phi then pi by 2 tau r cube we are getting. So this is going to be the, the maximum torque transmitted by the shaft as we know. So the d is equal to 2 r that means we define that is in terms of the radius if I am going to be writing the r is equal to d by 2 then I am going to be substituting in this equation so that the t is equal to pi by 2 tau r will become d by 2 whole square. So from this equation what I am going to be getting so this is going to be the r cube. So 8 times into 2 16 I am going to be getting from this equation t is equal to 5 by 16 tau into d cube I got it. So your torque is equal to 5 by 16 tau d cube. So this is going to be the, the maximum torque transmitted by the shaft right. So that is equation t is equal to 5 by 16 tau d cube. So this is the mathematical model right and which is help to identify what is the maximum torque we can transmit for this diameter right and if it is going to be exceeding that value of this that a yield strength then automatically the metal will start going to be failing. I hope you are able to understand the, the mathematical derivation and the mathematical model for the determining the maximum torque transmitted by the circular shaft. Thank you.